we go? I think we did it. All and right. Okay, so we're live. Yay, it worked. We are here. I am Teresa Coates. <laughs> so funny. We are here. I'm Teresa Coates. I am the National Educator for Shannon Fabrics. We're here at Cali Quilt Co. So we are just officially official kicking off the tour for Sew Together Tuesday. So we've been doing this for the last year and a half in our studio at our home in Los Angeles. And last week we did it from the Shannon Fabrics studio in Los Angeles. And then today we are all the way up in Rancho Cordova, California, up near Sacramento at Cali Quilt Co. We are here with um, the owner is Tava Singer. Come on in, bring the girls. Okay. Hey. <laughs> so we are here at um, your shop. So this is your anniversary week, correct? This is. This is our tenth anniversary for Cali Quilt Co. So thank you. Super cool. Thank you. Super cool. Yeah, there is not a cooler way to celebrate than to have Teresa at her show here, and all of you too. Like, yes, love exactly. You. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you. Thanks yeah. for having us. I'm so Absolutely. glad to kick it off here. It's been a yeah. ball. So thank we've got you. all sorts of things set up, lots and lots and lots of stuff to talk about. So it's going to be fun. The girls are here to help me dish things out to the audience. So um, yeah, roller skating around and running around. So it'll be great. We're going to have a great time. I'm really excited that you are with us and we will be doing this continually from quilt shops across America and uh, introducing you to some new places and hopefully some new fabrics, new ideas, new projects, all that good stuff. So uh, okay, so the things that I always forget, share the video and then we will get you entered in to win a kit at the end of it. So at the end, we'll choose a winner. You'll be able to win a free kit and we'll get that sent out to you. We'll also choose one in store as well after the live is over. Um, anything else, Hawk? You're really good at reminding me. Good. I think we're good. <laughs> I always forget things. I just always do. There's so I think lot. that's it. Okay. So today is Christmas in July. That's what we're doing. We're joining the crowd with the Christmas in July thing and talking about all sorts of different projects that we can do for Christmas. So like a lot of us, I, uh, I like to plan early and think I'm going to make a lot of things and then I don't actually do it. So we are showing you a whole bunch of things that if you start now, you can get them finished. And then also some things that will work really good last minute. So we did a Christmas uh, episode show last I think November or December, and we showed a whole bunch of projects. We're going to show some of those same ones, but if you want some like more last minute things, that's what that one was about is quicker projects that would be really easy to do. We have some that are a little bit more complicated today, and I'm kind of excited to show that. So if you're willing to put in a little effort, we'll be able to make some really cute things, but we do have some super easy things as well. Okay, so we're going to kind of go through in different categories and talk about different parts in blankets and throws and clothes and um, get yeah, toys, lots and lots of little toys, um, which is super fun. This is like, honestly, if you've watched it all, you know, like stuffies are kind of my favorite thing. So I really, I really love them. Uh, first, I will admit, I didn't make them, okay? I made like a handful of these. So don't like, don't be all impressed that, wow, she sewed a lot. I didn't, I farmed it out. I said, please help me. And people did, so it was great. Um, we have for you on um, our blog, we have a little Christmas wish list. So if you're at home, you can go ahead and download this. This has a whole list of a bunch of the things I'm gonna talk about, but not all of them. Okay, but this will give you a good start. We've included the pattern name, what they are, and then you can write down the fabric types um, while we're talking about it. We're gonna show you that stuff. And then also, we have a little pattern. We'll talk about that in a bit. Okay, so we have a new one for you. All right, so let's start with the stuff that's behind me and then we'll start on the table, okay? So, this, one of the easy things that you can do is this, uh, the self-binding blanket. This is a version of that called the frame game. So we did this one, gosh, a month and a half ago or so, and we did it with the world map. And I showed you how to put this together. So this is a great one for doing with a panel, and you can just add a couple of different borders, and then you can have a self-binding blanket that's made with the panel. Super duper easy. I'll show you a different version, so super cute, okay. That's a fun one. I like it, and all the panels are really great. So we have a variety of them. I think we still have this one in stock. We'll have new Christmas prints. So we will have Christmas prints soon um, for the next year as well. All right, so self-binding blankets are a super easy project. So if you haven't done this one before, it's well worth doing. It is very, very versatile. So if you have a print on the inside, you put a Lux cut on the outside, you're pretty much sold as long as the colors go together. You can also do it Lux and Lux, which is beautiful. So if you put a Lux cuddle in the middle and a Lux on the outside. So let me show you, we have a couple of big guys here. You can start small, get bigger. You can make them any size you want. Squares, rectangles, we don't care, okay? So this is one, Let's see if I can hold it up because this is a rectangle. 
So I'll hold it the rectangle area. There we go. Okay, you got it? So this one is done with the hide on the back. I'm going to show you the back because the back is beautiful. So see if oh, you can yeah. show that off because it's gorgeous. This is the Lux Cuddle Hide Caviar, which is phenomenal and super shiny and luxurious and beautiful. And it has buffalo check on the inside. When I say inside, I just mean the center. Okay. So really, really pretty. And I think this is a super like classy, something that you could give to the favorite guy. Okay. Where's my helper? Where's my helper? I'm just going to throw blankets at you. Okay. <laughs> there you go. All right. So pass it around. You can start back there and then we can pass it all the way around. All right. So the self-finding blanket, like I said, super versatile. We just rolled over to the BTS camera. Oh, we sure did. Okay. <laughs> you want to re- Yep, and we're back. Okay. We're just going to keep rolling with it because that's what yep. we do. Technology is a thing. At least there's a backup <laughs> camera. <laughs> it really is. So this is a bigger guy. Let me see if I can show you how big this one is. So this one's much larger, uh, longer. So it's a square. This is with our frosted hide, which is gorgeous. Okay, so you can do all sorts of things. This is one of the digital cuddle prints that's inside. And like I said, it really is super versatile. So whatever you want to do, you could do a solid inside, a print, Lux Cuddle, whatever. Just mix it up. Okay, I'm going to toss this one over here. Not on your donut. Okay. <laughs> Keep the food out of the way. Um, all right, so the self-winding blanket is super duper easy. It's a great beginner project because there's really, there's four seams in top stitching. That's it. And it's four like little bitty seams. So it's a super easy one if you haven't done it before. We just zigzag around the top. That pattern, oh, I have a copy of it. Let me show you. So that pattern is available on our um, website. So if you go to shannonfabrics.com, you can download the pattern. It'll tell you how to do it. We also have a tutorial on how to do it that has this blanket on the cover of that tutorial that's on YouTube. So if you haven't given it a try, it's well worth doing. The other one I wanted to show you is just a throw. So a throw is really just two pieces that are sewn together, stitched around. We do a couple of things that are a little bit different because it's cuddle and especially if it's um, some of the thicker Lux cuddles, we'll look at it a little bit differently. We're doing that one next week at the quilt shop. We'll be doing a um, tutorial on that. But I did bring the one I just finished before I left, which is made out of the new Milan, which Tava says she has here. So Milan is the crazy stuff that has, it's super stretchy. So I'm going to bring it over so you guys can see it because it is intense. Um, so it has, let me see if I can get a spot here. So it has elastic in it. So that's what causes these little ripples. Okay, so it stretches this way. It still does not stretch this way. Just a tiny little bit of stretch, but that's just because it's the width wise. But this elastic in here gives it all sorts of yumminess. But what Hawk and I were talking about is that it's interesting because it has these like little humps in it. It actually is kind of airy and a lighter feeling throw. So if sometimes if you feel like the like the Lux Cuddle hide, the Lux Cuddle hide throws are a little bit too heavy, this is a great one because it's kind of I don't know. It's lighter. It's lighter for being. A big throw. So this one is, I think, square-ish. I don't know. Um, I tried. Okay. Super interesting, though. It's and it's super weird. So when you're like, <laughs> if you're here in person, I'm like, can hold it, and like, it's super weird because it's stretchy. Um, but put it on you. It's great. Okay. All right. Ready? Kind of heavy. Here we go. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take one down and pass so it around. It's beautiful. I love the Lux Cuddle Milan. It's super yummy. And it was not that hard to sew. So I know that there's been some questions about how to work with it. And really the biggest thing I did is on the seams that had the actual elastic, I stretched them as open, like as full as I could as I sewed them. And then otherwise I just kind of worked with it, pinned it a bunch. It was good. We're just going to shout right. out to Nikki who woke up at 2.30 in the morning in Australia. <laughs> Hi, Nikki. Did you to join us? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. And we it. rolled off the back to the BTS camera <laughs> all right. again. So. That's all right. Michael might be changing things around. Who knows? All right. So, um, okay. So the throws, we got that. So other things that you can have around your home. So those are super easy. Honestly, if you are last minute making gifts for anybody, and honestly, for any sort of holiday or a thank you, those throws are the best. We give them to a bunch of people, and I... Usually, I was going to say, we don't have any complaints. Of course, we don't have any complaints. But usually what we get is, oh, I want one too. So I kind of have a list now of friends who need to earn a throw blanket. <laughs> <laughs> so that I'll make them a throw. They can have one too. They're great. So those are awesome last-minute gifts for anything and super-duper easy. 
the, a really great size is two yards. So if you buy two yards and you can get the cuddle cuts that are two yards already, and you put two yards on one side, two yards on the other, and you end up with a 60 by 72 blanket, which is perfect. Um, it's great for your bed and for a throw on your couch, okay? So besides the throws, let's get into Christmas Christmas stuff. We have tree skirts. So tree skirts are something that are kind of fun. I'm gonna show you two different variations from a pretty darn simple one to a little bit crazier one. And too bad we don't have Christmas trees. We saw somebody with one on their roof on the way up, didn't we? We did. So I think it was on the way up and we were like, like are you coming to our show? The Christmas tree. <laughs> um, <laughs> very odd. Um, but anyway, this just wraps around it. It has panels. This is one we talked about last year and I was so amazed because she matched all of her print. So I think this was probably made by Gail she's really good like that. So, you know, I might choose something that didn't have a very graphic design, so I had to match all that stuff, but you know, Gail did it and it's beautiful, okay? This one is just a panel, or just, you know, the panel's out here, and then it has a cuff, sort of a band of the Lux Cuddle Hide all the way around, also in the caviar, and then it is bound in Cuddle 3, and backed in Cuddle 3, all right? Let's see where we pass this. Let's do it this direction. And then we have a fancier version. So that one, let's see really quick where the pattern was from. Oh, that was one that she just made up. So Gail just made that one up because she's good like that. This pattern is actually one from, I'm gonna say simplicity, quietly, McCall's, sorry. Um, it's a McCall's pattern, 6453 is what it is. This one is super cute. So this is all the panels. I'm gonna see if I can open this so you guys can see. But look at these cute little buttons over here. Super cute. Where's those buttons? Oh, Let's see if I can. Are. You see them? And that's super cute. So she did these covered buttons with cuddle, which I have never done, uh, and used one of the digital cuddle prints, mixed it with some Lux Cuddle Hide, and then backed it in Cuddle 3. So super duper cute. The best dressed tree on the block. That's right, exactly. <laughs> best dressed. I really like this one. Uh, I used Lux Cuddle, I think, last year, the year before for Christmas, and I just took some Lux Cuddle and piled it around the bottom of the tree. This is much nicer. Um, <laughs> sometimes I get lazy. All right, let's pass that off. So once you've got your tree decorated, then you've got other things in your home you've got to decorate too. So we've got stockings. Let's show them the stockings that are over here. So that's the new pattern that we've got. So that one is available. Uh, and it just got um, uploaded to our website today. I'm going to grab my water. So that's a brand new pattern that we've got. It's free download. You can grab it. We have some variations there. And then it's also the one that we did. So this is the one that we did last year for our Christmas one. And this one is done with the uh, AccuQuilt Go, the die. So any way you want to make a stocking, go for it. Okay. So stockings are great. Super cute. All right, pass this over here. All right, then we've got this one. It's another super cute one. This one is actually another one that we did. Sans pattern. So this is just, a, I think, probably a 15 inch circle or so. And it is appliqued with some little pieces that make it look like a frosty face. Are we doing okay? Yeah, we're okay. back. I was gonna say, you look yep. like you're there. The whole, the like whole stream. Okay. Basically went down for a minute. We're this back for a on. Second. Sounds okay. on. We're good. That's hilarious. Okay, good. <laughs> just don't talk about that. <laughs> if I just hold it, down, they look like a snowman now. <laughs> oh, no, we're good. <laughs> I'm melting. Oh, wrong show. Sorry. Um, <laughs> so this one is super duper cute. If you come in here, you can see the applique on here. Okay, it's really adorable. And then these little lines that get sewn in there, they give it some extra dimension, which is fun. The hat, I want to remember where the hat came from. I feel like it was a Funky Friends thing. I can't remember. But this I know was a um, AccuQuilt die that cut the little holly. Okay, so it's just kind of a piecing things together. 
to, uh, you ready for this one? To make it super cute. This is with the seal, so it's extra luxe, which is awesome. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over and grab this big boy. Here we go. So last year we did this, I'm gonna show you the little one first. So we did a whole sew together Tuesday on this because it's really, it's mixing embroidery with Lux Cuddle, which is super fun. And this is a Kimberbell pattern, which you can get um, at Kimberbell Dealers like Cali. Um, so this was just done, just part of it that I put together. Super cute, mostly because it has a little pom-pom. Oh, I never put my Santa hat on. I just realized it. Oh no, here we go. Sorry guys, I got distracted. There we go. There halfway through and I'm like oh yeah now it's Christmas okay <laughs> so this was the other one this is what we did for the tutorial which is super cute I'm gonna give it to one of the kids to drag around because it's a big guy um and this is the uh Kimberbell Whims Whimsy, Whimsy Winter bench. Whimsy Bench Whimsy, Whimsy Winter, Winter bench. bench pillow there we go I got the pattern nice I can't see what I'm doing but you're doing great I can good I can see Okay, good. That's it? Yeah. All right, good. <laughs> I'm going to throw stuff around. All right. Ready for a pillow? Hey, Elf. <laughs> becomes a projectile. That could be a problem. All right. So that's super cute. You could, so you can totally mix um, embroidery with cuddle and Lux cuddle. If you have not done that, we have a really great tutorial that we did about a year ago or something. You can look that up. We actually think we've done two of them now. They're all about embroidery and uh using the cuddle fabrics super easy and you can see it's really great in the big pillow i mixed together cotton and cuddle i think it's a little one i did too which is totally doable and we've done that in a few variations yeah yeah so if you zoom in here again like this is this is all the cotton and then this is all cuddle and then this is lux cuddle okay and then a cute little pom-pom which is really just a circle gathered up and stuffed okay super easy so if you haven't embroidered with cuddle you can do it. Anyway. Hey, okay. all right. So let me see. Decor wearables. Oh, here come the fun thing. Thanks. All right. Like the, like the rest of the stuff hasn't been fun at all. Yeah. <laughs> it's all great. Look at all these. Oh my gosh, it's so much. Okay. So how I would like to know how many who are here has made a scarf and infinity scarf? Yeah. And if you're at home and doing it, I would love a little heart if you've made the infinity scarf. It's so, so, so easy. And it really is one of those things that if you take one yard, you cut it into three vertical strips, and you can make three scarves. It's the easiest thing ever. I have a sample of it here. Here we go. Okay, super duper easy project. And this is another one of those. It's even faster. So if it's the morning of the party and you need a gift, <laughs> this is what you do. Okay, so the throw will take you the day before, the infinity scarf the morning of. Not that I've had to do that. <laughs> but maybe, okay? That one is also a free download, if I can find the pattern. Here it is, doo doo. Okay, so you can go to our website, you can download the pattern, super duper easy, and we have a tutorial for that one too, okay? Then there are some others, did I get it in here? Yes. So this one here, sorry, can, keep making you show them, Hawk. It's okay. okay. Can you see it okay? Working it out. Okay, figured out that light thing. Okay, this is the twisted scarf from McKay Manor Musers. We have a few patterns we're going to show you from them. They're uh, really easy patterns, and they're kind of fun because they have this bit. It's a little bit like the Milan where it has the stretchy bit in it. So all of a sudden, it does fun things, and this just twists up. So super duper cute. Let's see if I can get it on with my little, with my hat. Get my hat out of the way. It kind That's of just twists together. Okay. <laughs> super cute. <laughs> okay, and you can do a bit different variations. I think that was it. And then part of their other pattern is um, these little warmers and they have a muff, is that what you call it? You put your hands yeah. in it, right? Okay, let me see if I have the pattern for that. Did I throw it? No. Hold on, hold on, here we go. That pattern. Okay, so you can make a hat, little gloves, warmers, all sorts of things. These are McKay Manor Muser patterns. And I have one more to show you of hers that are super cute. And all of her stuff is made with cuddle in mind. So she uses a lot of it to design her patterns. Thank you. Um, so the patterns you know are gonna actually work with our fabric really, really well. This was another version, the stretchy. <laughs> I'm not the only one who gets a kick out of the fact that it like bounces, right? Super fun. Okay, so McKay Manor Musers, I think we did a tutorial on this one. 
I feel like we did a slippers one. If not, it's just a class I teach a lot, so I've, I've taught it. Um, we've done slippers a couple of times, and I think we might have done these, but either way, you can get the pattern. Super cute. These are adorable because she added these little cute bows on there with little pom-poms. They're super simple, though, because they're one piece here, one piece on the inside, and then two soles. These are made with the slipper gripper stuff, okay, with the non-skid stuff. I will recommend that you always make slippers with this stuff on the bottom. I know people who make slippers, and they put cuddle on the bottom. I just feel like that's too much risk. I would just slip, slide. Yeah. Don't want to do that I'll again. leave that okay. to the roller skating elves. Yeah. You want to grab one? Thank you. All right. So slippers, I have another, oh, that's a scarf. I want to show you the other slippers really quick because, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so cute. <laughs> These are so cute. These are made by one of our brand ambassadors following, I think it's McCall's pattern. It's one of the guys. Uh, quick sew, sorry, quick sew. So super cute little applique on there, just absolutely adorable. Oh my goodness. And these are little kid ones. I think that somebody needs to come up with grown up versions because the rest of us would like them. Okay. Yes, please. <laughs> I was like, yes, always. I would wear those. Oh, I know. I totally would too. They're super fun. And you could make like, use the soft and stable in the little moose horns or whatever, the little reindeer horns. Super fun. Sorry. We're going we're gonna to do this for, I have time. There's still time before Christmas. I could do this. So this is another scarf version. This is the Team Infinity scarf. So this is another free pattern that we have. This one differs because it is two different sides. So you use two different fabrics, which is fun because like in this one, you can see she used a print and a lux, which works really well together. You can also use two different prints. You use two different luxes and they'll coordinate really nicely. Okay. And that, like I said, it's just another free pattern. You just put it together basically the same way as the infinity scarf, except that you've created a wider piece um, by using two different fabrics. You ready for another scarf? Little elf? Okay, thanks. All right little hat. We've got another little hat. This one is a peekaboo pattern, which is super cute. Has a little floppy bit. This one's for a little, we might stick it on one of our elves. Oh, we'll stick it on you. See if you can get that on your, on your noggin. Can we do it? It's a little small. He does. It's a go. little small and he needs two hands. That's hilarious. And then this little guy is still one of my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious this is another super cute one i love this little like hunter's cap i think it's so adorable and it has the sherpa inside which we'll talk about we have a new fabric called lamb that's very similar but a little bit different okay so this one who, did, who is it by a simplicity pattern okay super duper cute okay so the lamb this is um sherpa that's in here and Sherpa is uh, just this sort of like inside of a rugged jacket kind of look. We have a new one called Lamb. So Lux Cuddle Lamb, which is actually two-sided. And I love the two-sided stuff. I think it's super great. So I'm going to show you the inside of the hood here because that shows you. So this is the wrong side of it, which is a little bit like chunkier, for lack of a better word, than the right side. So the right side is this. It's a little less nappy than some of the fabrics. Um, and then it's two-sided. So this makes a really easy blanket that you can just bind it. It also makes a great little bodysuit. So check this out. Ta-da. <laughs> the little hood. Okay, <laughs> super cute. So I think we all need to make these, you know, for Christmas with the little, like, the rabbit ears and do a little Christmas story redo super cute so this one is uh so we have a few different patterns that are basically the same idea and this one is a simplicity pattern so 1731 super cute and in the two-sided so you know this is gonna be super scrumptious, yummy yummy inside okay all right hey elf elf come get it for me <laughs> just gonna hold him i got i got pjs here so this is a little bit littler version. So these are super cute, okay? These are from Peekaboo Patterns. Yeah, Peekaboo Patterns, which is online. My favorite part about this, check it. <laughs> it's got the little booty flap, so cute, so cute. They probably make this in your size, Hawk. <laughs> I think you'd be cute. <laughs> Only okay. so many things I can like about that. And it's all <laughs> but then we've got this one. So, if, you know, 
the grown I think I think Joe might do it. It's really tall. I tried it on yesterday. It's pretty hilarious. Um, penguin on me. Right, I'm gonna bit. come around to the side so we can see a full length on that. And then I'm gonna back up another four feet. Okay, give it a shot. There it is. Super cute. And this one has a hood too. That has a little elastic. Pretend. Okay. Can nice. almost pretend. Super cute. And this one, I actually, I, the, one of the reasons that I tried it on was because I wanted to see how it felt inside with the Lux cuddle or with the cuddle backing right on me. And it was totally fine. Ooh. Was it, it wasn't bad. It wasn't even anything. I couldn't really feel it. I, I did. I did a little awesome penguin dance while I was wearing it just to see like, how does this fit? It's pretty good. It's really hard for everybody to be okay with you saying stuff like that without showing us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll do it especially for the live audience yeah okay um, <laughs> it was pretty fun this is what happens when you show up a day early cute little i just want to make them stand um before i forget because i think then we're just on to the toys we didn't talk about this quilt and i want to make sure that we get this so this is the first flake quilt is what the pattern is and we're using this in a pillow that we're doing later so this version you can see it fits right here Okay, this version I did pieced and I cut all of the little squares and I pieced it together. This is with the Lux Cuddle Shearling and a Cuddle 3. So if you can see that. And it worked really well, but I knew that making an entire quilt like this might not be the easiest thing ever. So we decided to do it as an applique. So we took the pattern, measured things out, and this entire white piece is cut as one piece that's just backed with a woven interfacing. And cut as one piece, put down, like spray basted on, and then stitched in place. And then it was quilted over the entire quilt as one piece. So it's just an interesting way of being able to take a um, pattern that is made for patchwork. There would be a lot of patchwork and kind of manipulating it. So you could absolutely do that with a cotton, with cotton fabric that works super duper well for the cuddle fabric. So that's really um, a cute one. We're going to do the, the pillow part of it today. Okay, toys, where are we at? Okay, good. Oh, we're doing great time-wise. Awesome. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of things here. A bunch of these are toys. Some of them are a little bit of decorations, all that kind of stuff. I want to talk about it, and I want to talk a little bit about how they work and what works for certain things, okay? So let's start with the boot. Come on, boot. Doss. So cute. This little quilted boot, okay? So it's Cuddle 3. I love the little buckle on it. I think the buckle is so great. Check that. <laughs> and then it's got a seal top. This could be used to put um, like gifts in or whatever. Have a little decoration. I think it's kind of adorbs. Okay. And that seal definitely makes a, uh, a really nice little fluffy bit here. I want to go in there with a stiletto and fix all of the fluffy. Make sure it's perfect. Okay. So this is a cute little one. Mm -hmm. This is from um, Crossroads by Amy, which is the same company that basically does Indigo Junction. So it's Crossroads by Amy, and it's just, I think it's called the Stand Up Santa Boot. So really simple little name, but cute little decoration that you could use for all sorts of things. They, we also have, let me make sure I find, this is it. I think this is it, and there's another one. Here it is. So both of these, yeah, both of these are made by Happy Heart. I just want to make sure I've got the right. Yeah, so both of these are Happy Heart. This is the little gnome. So this one I'm not sure if this one was a gift bag originally, but I think it was, but this one is. So this one's been like manipulated. The pattern has been manipulated into just a decor item that would just sit here and be cute. But the pattern is actually for a gift bag. So you can put like a bottle of wine or whatever in there to give as a cute little, a little gift. We talked about it last time because we shared these last year because I think they're super cute. But uh, the arms, can you get the little zoom in on those? where she used embroidery floss and then she zigzagged it onto the cuddle to create these little stripes and then she pieced it together. So if you're here in person, you got to check it out because it's really one of those things where I'm just, I'm so impressed with her ingenuity and how she makes these things extra cute. So it is not striped cuddle. It is actually made to look striped with a little embroidery floss on it. Okay. Super adorable. I hang this over here for our little elf to come get. Right. This is the same sort of thing, but a shorter version. Same pattern company, Happy Hearts. Really cute. And I love these little cups. <laughs> They're just so cute. Okay. And the fur stuff is, let me make sure I got it right. Oh, it doesn't say on here. The other one, they're the fun fur cups was a lot of them. 
which is a little like a pre-cut fur thing that we sell that you can use different, um, there's different colors that you can use for things like the beard, which works really, really well. Super cute. Look at those little nose. <laughs> I'm so impressed by the little things. Okay. All right. You want to take them? Take these guys. Pass them around. Uh, okay. Put the hats over here. So I make sure I can get through all the stuff that I want to show you guys. All right. <laughs> so other cute ones. So this is just a typical little Christmas thing, the little gingerbread man. It is from Precious Patterns, which is super cute and adds the little rickrack for those cute uh, little edging on there. Okay. The icing on the cake. The icing on the cake. This would be a great one to start with. So if you are new to sewing stuffed animals or any sort of toys, this would be a great place to start because it's really just some simple piecing I remember right. Yeah, I think that's just sewn down. It's not even pieced together. So um, super duper cute, easy, easy to do, and absolutely adorable. And these are a bunch of buttons. Did you get to show those? Cute little round buttons. Okay. So you could do flat buttons, but these are actually like spherical. I think that's the right word, right? Mm -hmm. They're like the old old ball there you go I thought they were safety eyes at first no no they're actually like buttons like big old buttons they're super That's cute and i like them because there's a, a variety of sizes so like the eyes are bigger than all the little mouth ones super cute okay so this one so i want to try to go in like a little bit easier to harder this is from fluffmonger yep from fluffmonger this one i believe is oversized so some of the patterns we've talked about it before is that some of the patterns i like to blow them up a little bit to make them bigger and easier to sew. I'm pretty sure these have been too. I didn't sew this one, sorry. Can't remember who sewed it, does it tell me? Renee, are you just poking his belly? Just poking his belly. It's pretty cute, huh? It's pretty adorable. I really like his little feet. There's like some little feet hanging out. Burp, burp. So cute, there's a little heart. Anyway, adorable. She makes a whole bunch of patterns and they are, um, I think they're available on Etsy only. <laughs> Look it. Super cute. He's like a little weeble, but he does wobble. Okay. Little button. Cute. Okay. So Fluffmonger are those patterns because she has a bunch of them and you can totally manipulate them and make them Christmassy. All right. Which one next? Which one next? Let's talk about this one. Okay. So this one is from Cotton Ginny's, which we've done a few of her patterns before. They're usually pretty easy. Good uh, starting place or like moving up in your pattern or your toy making world. Okay, this one is a cute moose. I love, check out those ones. Those antlers, is that what they call them? Moose. They're great. I love them so much. They're so fluffy. Reminds me of Bullwinkle. Is that a name, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, you fucky. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> They're so cute. So this one is adorable and his body is made out of Lux Cuddle Shearling which I love, we were talking about it last night, it is one of my favorite new fabrics. It has a different feel. It's a little bit mm, thicker, maybe. Um, I've made a couple of coats out of it, which are awesome, and I made an ottoman, and um, I love it. I just bought some more of this color because I really like it. Um, and then this is the Lux Cuddle, Lux Cuddle Amber Fox. I believe that's what it's called. Super cute. So this is a great one because you're going to make the legs, you're going to make the arms, you're going to stick them into the body, turn it inside out. Okay, and it looks like these are just hand sewn on, which makes it a little easier. Okay, super cute. Ready? There you go. Make sure you share. Okay, super cute. All right, try to figure out where we go. Okay, this guy is from Bizart, which I have not seen before, but oh my gosh, the tail. <laughs> it's just so cute. It's adorbs, adorbs. He seems concerned. He's <laughs> like his head's a little back more than I might like, but it's super cute. And I would put little um, chenille stems in here to make them stay really strong. So that's one trick that you can do with um, stuffed animal legs. This one is just stuffed hard. So if I balance him right, he'll, he'll stand up. But I kind of have to balance him right. See if I can do it. I'm going to say that and then he's just going to keep falling. Come on, little guy. Look, he's totally standing there. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, he's not. <laughs> he did earlier. He was standing there, I swear. Super cute. Okay. All right. So these two are, if I remember right, they are the Stumpkins. That's the Stumpkins two. Is this the Stumpkins? This is two. This is two. And oh, 
I don't think that one is. Um, one of these things doesn't belong. So this way, like he's seriously one of my favorites. He's so adorable. The little so it is stump Christmas stumpkins, and um, it's made by the same people who do the happy heart patterns, I believe. Super cute. His little uh, his little jingle jangly thing there. I'm not even sure why it goes over his nose, but it's really cute. <laughs> and for some reason, I'm just a sucker for the antlers. Like, they're the things that get me every time. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so adorable. <laughs> I think I, be, I know what I'm gonna be for Halloween already. Something with something with antlers, because it's really cute. And his little, look at his little cheeks. Did you see? I don't know what she did to his cheeks to make them pink, but she made him a little pink. Mm. Adorable, yeah, paint, I, dye, I don't know. It's adorable. Adorable. Details. So this is all the same. Yeah, details. This is all the same company that makes these patterns. So these are two others that are in that little series of the stumpkins. That was a Christmas stumpkins. These are primitive stumpkins. And this is a Northwoods gnome. So a bunch of those are on there. Super duper adorable. This is the lamb again. Okay. So he have a little beard and it's um, two-sided. This cute face. Whoa. What's going on under there? It's got a little face. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. This one doesn't flip up easily. There's his face. This one is with the, um, I think the fun fur cuts. Let me see on here. Yep. The fun fur cuts. This is a monkey snow, which you can see is really nice and um, lush. It's like very full little beard, which I like a lot. So cute, adorable. The thing I have to share you guys with, with you guys is the thing that we noticed yesterday when we were talking about these is how well they sit. So you see they just sit there so nicely, so flat. Look at how well, like just sits up nice and tall and proud, okay? The thing, because I, I know the lady who showed him is Gail Camargo and she's an amazing cuddle sewist. And so I kind of did a little bit of figuring out what she did. And I have to tell you, the secret is there is a piece of plastic in there, it's flat. So there's poly pellets in the bottom. This is all full of poly pellets, probably up to about here is all the poly pellets, the little plastic pellets. And at the bottom is a little plastic round oval shape that fits his his bum so he sits <laughs> totally flat <clears throat> it's great so that was a great little insight for me to learn how to do it i'm gonna keep them there because i was so impressed with how well they sat up because for me the thing with stuffed animals is getting them to sit nicely so this one has poly pellets in the bottom too but without that little plastic piece he definitely likes to tip backwards so there's some some insight for you if you want them to sit really nicely that's the way to do it all right Take this guy around. Let people love him. All right. We're to the last two. Look at that. The last two things. So these I saved to last purposely because they're a lot more. So there's a lot more work that goes into these. These have embroidery on them, and then they actually have clothes that you make for them. So there's, oh, no. He lost a, <laughs> he lost, a, or she did. She lost her little booty. Let's get it. All right. I'm going to put her shoes back on. All right. So they have these cute little shoes. <laughs> Look at those little things. They're adorable. Okay. They just go right on her feet here. This one is made out of Lux Cuddle. I think hide and evergreen. Okay. Maybe I can get it back on. Maybe this was the problem is I didn't put it on well enough the first time. Sheesh. Okay. There. It fits in there. So cute. <laughs> but these are embroidered. So you can see the little faces have been embroidered with a design. And they are, let me make sure. See, we can take her hat off. Look how cute she is. Okay. She, they are from Crafty Boots Design. So this was a company that I hadn't worked with before, but adorable. They're little elf ears. Oh my goodness. Okay. But you could make the whole outfit. So this was all made out of cuddle, but you could totally make it out of anything that you want to. You can make it out of regular cuddle, lux cuddle like this, using the sparkle in here to give it a little bit of oomph. Okay adorable but definitely going to be something that you're going to invest some time into making with all of the different pieces and the ruffling and the top stitching and the little boots and oh my goodness so cute okay so here ta-da aren't they so cute okay they're really just yeah sweet so if you've got little ones this is a great way there are a few other people who make um elf patterns i know funky friends has one and i've seen one other and i can't remember who it is so elf patterns adorable always okay all right you ready for those Okay, there we go. We went through all of it. We talked about everything, right? Is that it? Okay. That's it. I think that's it. So let me show you some of the patterns again really quick. Oh, I forgot. I was going to tell you guys about this one. This is um, the Noel. We showed this last year. She just had the pattern, and I was like, oh, 
I, w I would show it to you today, but I gave it to my sister for Christmas. It's last year. So, <laughs> I made the pattern and I was like, oh, here, this is really cute. You might want this. And then I was like, oh, we should have used it again. So sorry, Steph has it. Uh, and then this is the little twirly scarf. And then of course our patterns. All right. So I think that's it. All right. So we should have a winner. Let's see. Uh, okay. So congratulations to Brittany K. So Brittany, congrats. You have won the kit for today. We will send you that. If you will get a hold of us in the next 48 hours, then we will, uh, with your address, your phone number, all of that good stuff, we will get a kit sent out to you. You can make your own cuddle kit and you'll have plenty of time to do it before Christmas. But all of these projects are available. There is a, um, the list is on the Christmas wish list. But like I said, you can download from the Shannon Fabrics blog. You can also get the um, patterns are all available. Well, all the free patterns are available at shannonfabrics.com. And then the list of which some of the other ones are available there. If you have any questions, you can definitely leave them in the comments and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Is that all we've got here, Hawk? Okay. I think we're good. I think so. Next week we'll be back. We're going to be it's Saturday. So this is where the crazy starts, guys, because we have started the tour. So today, like I said, we're in Rancho Cordova at um, Cali Quilt Co. And then on Saturday, we are going to be at the Fig Leaf. I'm going to be teaching a class all about stuffed animals. So we'll be talking about those flat bottoms and lots of other things on Saturday. And next Tuesday, we'll be coming to you live from the quilt shop in Wakefield, Nebraska. And we're going to be doing the Lux Throw. We're going to be using Mirage 80, which is our 80-inch wide Lux Cuddle, which a lot of people don't realize that we actually have one that is that big, which means you can make an enormous throw out of that. And we're going to talk about that, how to use it, all that good stuff next week from the quilt shop. And uh, I think that's it, right? Is that good? <laughs> I think great. so. All right. Thanks so much. And we will see you next week from there. Until then, happy sewing. Bye. <laughs>